Welcome to this free lecture. This lecture is taken from my ZBrush full anatomy and character creation course. Details of this course can be found now. If you like what I'm doing here, um, visit the page, check it out, see if you like it and take the course. Okay guys, welcome to this section. Now in this section, what I wanna be talking about mainly is the planes of the face or the angles of parts of the face and the proportions of primarily the eyes, nose, mouth and ears uh, on that shaped face. So here I have a 3D scan um, and we can have a look and we can use this as a basis. Now this is an actual 3D scan of the guy's head. And if we look across here from the ear, I kind of straightened it up, but you can see here from the ear that it kind of hits the middle or just above the brow. Now this is slightly off center, so you can't see it that clearly here because it's not straight, but you can see it kind of hits across here. And this is a, a very good marker for us um, for this um, to actually say where it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grid it up now remember this is an actual face so we are working to proportions and we're going to be using also uh, photographs as well to re-emphasize what we're trying to get across so I'm just going to fill this object um, you don't need to do this it's just for us to test that this all kind of works and I'm going to invert this now and I'm just going to fill the rest with a white here I'll put it into a flat shader so it's nice and clear just going to unmask it so if we now check the bottom of the ear where the bottom of the ear hits and we bring it across here you can see on this particular model it's hitting kind of in the middle now generally as a rule of thumb it would just be under the nose so I'm actually going to raise it a little bit here but this is this is an actual model so this would be correct you know um, an, an actual scan so you can see the earlobe is just a little bit lower so I'm going to fill that with a colour so I'm just going to mask the top and bottom and I'm just going to come across here to a green I'm just going to mark a green in here and unmask it so uh, what we're seeing here now is a actual alignment so we've got an alignment for the top of the ear at the bottom of the ear um, against the uh, brow and the base of the nose there that gives us a good alignment on it now if we look quite carefully you can probably see this is a kind of divided into threes now um, generally the midpoint of the eye here down to here down to here would be about halfway so the eyes the ears go a little bit above that halfway now we're not obviously working with something symmetrical so um, generally that's what would happen the eyes would hit about halfway so if we look um, at a little model here that we've got you can see the center line of this um, illustration here runs through the middle of the eye and you can see the ears are just a little bit higher so it's working to where it should be and you can also see that the ear there is the ear lobe is just in that middle area so it's actually proportion wise it's all working really well I mean you can see on this one they put it onto the bottom of the nose so this little this can have a little bit of a degree of movement between the top of the lip and the bottom of the nose for the base of the ear or the ear lobe itself um, so this gives us a good marker as to what to do and where to put stuff on a model now also we need to look a lot of people do an absolute round um, sphere for this head and uh, yeah to a degree it is but it actually on the male head there it slopes back a bit, black a bit there and there is a halfway mark between that middle of the eye remember the middle of the eye there so if, and the top so if I was to put a little marker in here I put that down to about there and I can just invert that and we'll fill that with a blue this is I, you know why I'm doing this is just so that you guys can sort of understand um, the where things are changing you know so if I if I actually took this mask here brought it down here and just use my space bar you can see if I bring that down to the bottom it's roughly halfway so I put my little 
mask in there so if I just do a little mask from the bottom here up to there it's going to give us that halfway mark I'll just invert that and I'll drop a little color in there let's put that in there so now you're starting to see this kind of break up now for the eyes themselves usually you find the eye distance between here and here is about the same as here to here okay so let's just um, run this through so I'm just pressing through here just all, all clicking through here and here and let's move that there so that little distance of that will be for this so let's fill that in there so we've got a distance there of there to there it's normally not quite the same distance for the eye to the edge there um, but from here to here is again not quite but not far out being about the same as an eye length it's a little bit bigger so you could split this if you wanted to uh, but that gives you an idea now for the mouth the mouth area is fairly simple with the fact this normally cuts through the middle of the eye now this character's mouth is quite small so you're not actually seeing it um, in the ideal so if I get this I just move this along just pressing the space bar to move this that's about the middle of the eye so let me just unmask this area here and just drop in a let's drop in a gray there there unmask that so now you're starting to see positions on everything that's going through now what I also like to do is say about here to about here is about the halfway distance and lots of people get this wrong and they don't put enough distance on the neck from the edge there to across to here they don't put enough of a distance on there um, so from there to that edge bit comes down from there and that is about the same across to there to that bottom of the chin area let's make this a little bit bigger you can see there we've got that same distance to that bottom of the chin where the chin starts to arc round now this is well I'm doing this but it's actually you know it's just to give you a ballpark heads do change so we have a another little figure in here where you can see where things are meeting up and it actually gives you um, a third so this is breaking into a third here for a section a between there and there there and there so you've got to bear in mind these now we're just looking at proportions at the moment we're just putting dots or we're placing we're doing measurements with our eye and I always say just use your eye if it looks right then it probably is right um, you don't you don't really want to work with exact measurements because it can look off um, but we are talking about measurements now we're not talking about planes or angles on the face and they make a lot of um, you know they make a lot of the decisions for you when you start putting the features in so you start to get it right but you can certainly start to abide by some of these rules that are coming across here and I've got some nice little drawings and templates in here for you to have a look at and kind of follow so uh, I noticed something that happens quite a lot is the distance between the ear and the eye people make that a lot shorter and they drop this jaw the jaw actually goes quite a long way it's actually further back than the head if you took the back of the head there and drew a line down to there it would be about the same so it's about the halfway point for the back of the sphere part of of the um, head because you can see that's kind of spherical um, but it has got to taper out and it tapers out at the jaw line there so you need to be aware of that um, also the neck the way the neck sort of comes forwards a bit it doesn't it's not dead straight up from the shoulders there's an angle there and we'll talk about that later as we start to develop this uh, this model the head looks far too upright but um, still do so uh, again you know bring us on to the skull parts here um, we can see the mandible the bottom mandible that's going into here and that's obviously where our hole for our ear is so you can see our earlobe would run down here 
which if you look at the mandible and run from the bottom of the nose and run a line across, that's where the ear would be. And then the top of the ear, you can look at that crap, that brow part there and run that across and that would be the top of the ear generally. But you have got room for movement in there. I mean, it does vary from character to character. Um, so again, look, we've got some bits here. It's running across here. This one's, the ear's a little bit higher and it's running to the nose, but that's probably because the head is actually bent down a little bit. If it's brought up a little bit more, it would run to the bottom of the nose there. Um, so again, you know, there are, these measurements do apply all the time to this stuff. And, you know, sometimes you get wider heads like this. There's, that's an eye gap there. That's about from there to there. And it's about exactly the same. This is quite wide eyes. They might have photo retouched this to make them wider, which is what they generally do. Um, you can see a good drawing in here. Again, these eyes are quite big and they're closer. So you have got room for movement, but this form, this uh, position of things like the brow meeting the top of the ear, the ear lobe, her ear lobes are not that big. So it would actually run probably, probably to the nose. Now if you've got big ear lobes, they probably run down into about the middle. So you've got to bear these things in mind when you're working with creating a base shape. So we will do that. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to look at the planes of the face. So we've got measurements there and I do suggest you have a look and make sure your measurements are all correct as you're working, um, as you're running stuff out. I'll do a quick grab of this and put this in the constructions folder for you guys. So you've got it. So let me just um, export this out and I'll put it in here so you guys can see. So this is a kind of measurement guide from a 3D scan. And I'll put that in there uh, so you guys can see that. I'll also do one of the side as well so you can have that, have a picture of that as well. So we just call this side and save that. Okay, good. So they're in your folder there, ready for you to look at. I uh, can't supply this um, head model because it's uh, it was actually a download so I haven't got rights to supply this as part of the course. All right, so understand that kind of principle, the way things are running out. Also look at the neck there and the way the head runs out. A lot of people do uh, like a big bump there, which is wrong, you know, it should run straight in as a nice soft angle. And this part, often they do it straight up and then cut straight across or they have a very sharp um, jaw there. And you can see the skin's covering it. Um, he's got quite a kind of wide face here. So it's, there's a lot of um, extra tissue running down over the top on this particular model. So what I want to do now is I want to break into creating a base mesh and creating those planes for the face. So we're going to be very simple with it. We're going to create something like this. Um, so it'll give us the planes of the face. Uh, we do a female, but you know, we could do the male if we wanted to. I'm not going to do it as quite as detailed as this, just going to put the planes in. I just want the planes, these things we've covered eyes, and then we can use that as a base mesh to um, create any sort of head. So you can always come back and reuse that bit. 